Hey folks, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can disable and enable System Integrity Protection, or SIP for short, on any computer that runs macOS. So, if you don't know what System Integrity Protection is, it's a very uh, useful feature that's enabled by default in macOS. And it uh, prevents malicious software from modifying or overriding your computer system files. And sometimes if you need to perform advanced tasks like patching your computer to run unsupported operating systems uh, using either OpenCore or DustDude1's patcher tools, uh, it would usually come up with a message telling you to disable SIP and it cannot continue if it's enabled. And you've been wondering, what is SIP? And how do I turn it off? Or if I accidentally turned it off, how do I turn it back on? So here's the correct video on how to do just those two. So you'll need to power off your computer by holding down the power button for about four seconds until the screen goes blank. Then after a few seconds, you can press the power button and hold down the option key on your keyboard. And while you are holding down the option key, it should come up with this screen. And once you see it, then you can let go of the option key. And at this point, you'll just need to press, uh, you'll need to hold down the command key. And while holding it, you can press the letter R. But uh, I'm not going to do that for now, but for now I'm just going to choose my open core bootloader. There's also a method, uh, easier method to do it through the open core bootloader. So uh, if you were to uh, open up the open core bootloader, uh, it should come up with a random like message saying like Windows or something. And uh, if you want it to boot it there by default, you can hold down the control key. And while holding the control key, you can just click on the little arrow or just press enter. Then it should come up with the custom open core bootloader with a few options to power off or reboot your machine. And it should give you a list of every single uh, command and every single operating system as well as the uh, recovery environments that you can boot up from. So, uh, again, you can use the arrow keys, the left and right arrow keys to uh, uh, highlight different operating systems. So, what we'll need to do is, if you see uh, an icon with a gear icon next to it, and it says recovery next to it, then that's a recovery partition. Otherwise, if it has a disk icon next to it, then that means it's an actual operating system that you can boot from. But for now, I'm going to choose the recovery DMG for my macOS High Sierra installation and press enter to boot from there. And this might take a little bit of time to actually boot from there, but it all depends on how fast your computer is. But it should come up with an Apple logo and a loading bar. And at this point, we'll just need to wait until it's finished. So I'll be back once this is done. And also something funny to point out is that for a very split second, uh, the Apple logo turned red and the loading bar turned green for half of a second. Maybe like, uh, yeah, a fraction of a second. But uh, for now, uh, we are now inside the macOS utilities and it should have some information about the operating system that your recovery image is actually based off. But now we need to open up the terminal. So if you were to use, like, if your macOS utilities window had, like, a black one, like, it would be black in macOS Big Sur and newer. However, in Catalina and older, it looks something similar to this. It's just that this is High Sierra, and that's why it has the logo for High Sierra. But if you were to use a Big Sur's recovery partition, you can simply hold down the command and shift keys and while holding those, you can press the letter T for, uh, for terminal. Otherwise, you can just click on utilities in the corner and then click on terminal over there. So here we are. We now have the terminal enabled. 
I mean like the terminal open on our screen. And now I'm just going to type CSR util space disable. And it should be exactly how I've typed it in over here. It has to be all in lowercase. There shouldn't be any capital letters. And yeah, it should be exactly how I typed it. That's why I made it bigger so you can see it. But now uh, we'll just press enter. And it now comes up with a message saying, successfully disabled system integrity protection. Please restart the machine for the changes to take effect. So now once you're done, you can just click on the Apple logo in the corner, like the Apple menu, and then you can click on restart. But I'm not going to restart it now because I'm also going to show you how you can re-enable system integrity protection if this is already disabled by accident. So you'll need to type in CSR util again, but instead of disable, you'll need to type in enable this time. And once you have typed it in exactly how I've done it, you can press enter. And it also says that system integrity protection is successfully enabled. And again, it asks you to reboot the machine for your changes to take effect. But uh, again, once you have completed your changes, you can always uh, click on the Apple menu and click on restart. But if that is not there, you can just click on startup disk instead. And it should come up with a list of all your startup disks. It's just taking a while to load. And has the beach ball of doom again. But uh, anyways, at this point, I'm just going to conclude this video for now. Now that I've shown you how to disable and re-enable system integrity protection on your computer for performing advanced settings or if it's disabled by accident. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for similar videos. Also, please make sure to share this video if you found something interesting or something a bit funny. And with that, I hope to see you in my next video.